Hey guys, welcome to our newest series called Getting Started with the MPVI 2 Plus, which is HP Tuner's newest device. And in this series, we're going to be covering how to connect, read, edit, and write. So let's get it started. Hey guys, welcome to our episode on Connect. Today we'll be discussing the MPVI 2 Plus and how to physically connect it to the vehicle as well as how to get the software connected up and installed. So let's get started here. We're going to actually begin by using the flash drive that came with your MPVI 2 Plus. Now if you've never tuned before or never used HP tuners before, you'll need to go ahead and install this software by plugging it into your USB port and simply following the prompts along the way. After you've installed the software, Let's go ahead on to the physical installation component of the process. Now we always start with the uh, OBD2 port and the MPVI2 Plus, and we simply connect it up underneath the dash. Now usually people call and ask questions at this point because they're concerned that they might bend a pin or put it in backwards or something like that. The reality is you really can't do any harm here. And the reason you can't is because it's keyed. So it can only go in one way and it really can't be harmful either way. So you're not going to harm anything in that manner. So once you've done that, go ahead and connect up your USB cable to your laptop. And then at that point, you'll be ready to roll to actually start with what we call the tuning process, okay? So you've got your software from previous installation that we did. We've got our OBD2 port hooked up and you're gonna say, hey, I wanna go tune. And we're gonna say, hey, hang on. We got a couple things before you get started. I'm gonna ask you some questions about well, let's talk about the ProLink, or let's talk about the analog inputs, or how you're gonna data log using your widebands, okay? And so, in regards to connecting, this is an important um, component. You don't wanna just start tuning and then wake up and go, I have no way of knowing what's going on in the engine, because I didn't take the time to connect my wideband. And there's usually two ways of connecting your wideband into your MPVI 2 Plus. The first is going to be what most of you use, which is the CAN bus method. You can watch our video on how that works. Or alternately, if you're using an older vehicle that you don't have CAN bus support on, you'll want to use the ProLink and the analog output from your wideband going to one of these analog input wires on the ProLink, okay? And then that goes all the way through to connect to the front of the MPVI2 Plus using the M8 Motorsports connector that we really do love. Awesome, solid connector. Okay, so now that we've physically got these things connected, we're still not going to go and mess with the car. Why? you have to actually take a minute and look and see what you're messing with before you get started, okay? And here's what we're talking about. Open up your uh, preferred uh, browser and do a Google search for HP Tuners supported vehicles list. Once you've done that, it'll bring you straight to their website and you wanna find your vehicle in the list. And the reason you're gonna wanna do this is you wanna know a couple things. Number one, is your vehicle supported? Obviously a great question. Number two, scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for the red notes. Here's why. Some vehicles, some transmission control modules, some engine control modules require you to have them unlocked first before you start downloading and working with them. You don't wanna get halfway through the process and go, why isn't this working? Ending up in tech support and waiting for a solution only to know the solution was already there. So having a look at these notes, and our vehicle here is a great example. This is a 19 Challenger Scat Pack we use to teach our Dodge classes with. And this falls straight into the first uh, asterisk here. Note, 2018 and newer Dodges require a smart access cable available here so you could follow that link, purchase it, and get it coming your way. Also, don't miss this, 2015 and newer, again, this, this is in that category, Dodges require a PCM modification service to unlock the PCM prior to tuning. You actually need both of these items to be finished before you can actually start to tune this vehicle. So just know this guys, go through this process, have a look, make sure maybe you've got a GM with an eight speed and you need to go through this process to have it unlocked before you start tuning it. It's important to understand what you're working with before you actually get further down the line. So let's say you've arrived, you're there, you've got whatever you need unlocked or whatever you're working with doesn't need unlocked. That's awesome. What we're gonna do now is talk about the VCM scanner and the VCM editor and how to connect using them. So moving over to the VCM scanner, which now shows an icon on your screen from your installation process, we'll double click it. And now we're loaded up. So connecting in the VCM scanner, here's what you need to know. Number one, the scanner's job is to give you important information about how that engine's running. Keep that in mind, that's what it's going to do for you. So connecting to it is as simple as just clicking this little icon called connect vehicle. 
there's the little box that always gets me, right? It says, hey, wait a minute, the interface was not found. My fault, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the key on before I got started. Doesn't mean the vehicle has to run, it just needs to be the key on. Once I do that, I should be able to do this process again and connect up just fine. Now with the key on and it connected to the vehicle, I can then click this scan button to start scanning. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that today because we're gonna discuss that in a later episode. Uh, but what we're talking about today is literally just how to get this thing connected and make sure everything is talking correctly. So with the scanner connected, you now understand it's going to be good to go. So uh, normally at this point, you would disconnect from the vehicle and I'm going to show you one more thing here called the VCM editor. All right, VCM editor, everybody's favorite tool. Now the editor's job is to literally take the file out of your vehicle, allow you the opportunity to edit it, and then go ahead and send it back over to the vehicle. That's 100% its purpose in life. And uh, really, really, really important thing for you guys to understand, do not, no matter how tempting it is, take someone else's file that matches your vehicle and put it in your vehicle. Don't do that. Either it will not work or you will have absolute nightmares trying to figure out why it's not particularly happy quirky weird issues related to operating system and other things that if you don't know what any of those words mean, you should never be doing it, okay? So just understand this, guys. As far as connecting goes, connecting with the VCM editor is actually very simple. You're just gonna wanna read the vehicle. And that's done again with the key on. Now, is there any harm in this process? Actually, no. Downloading the file out of the vehicle is extremely simple. And even if you had something go wrong, there's generally no issue related to the ECM because you're just downloading the file out of the ECM. You're not uploading, which is a little more dangerous, okay? So first way of connecting is downloading. Second way of connecting is uploading. You're gonna notice that I cannot upload. It's grayed out. That's because I did not download my file yet. Did make, didn't make any changes, not ready to do any uploading. Okay, so understand this guys, VCM editor, very simple to work with, but you're gonna learn more about these things in future episodes. So that about covers how to connect to the MPVI 2 Plus. Thanks for watching our video on how to connect to the MPVI 2 Plus. Be sure you stay tuned for our next episode where we talk about how to read using the MPVI 2 Plus. Be sure to follow us on social media, get those notifications for when it's coming out. Thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs> Sorry. All right, yeah, yeah, I realize it now. You're fine. I'll go. Hey guys, welcome to our nearest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm good. The MPVI 2 Plus, HP Tuner's newest. Blah, blah, blah. So you'll know when our awesome new series called Getting to New the New. Yeah, getting to New.